Everybody knows that using a proxy is the most important thing when working online. But how do you actually use it to the full potential? Well, first you've got to find a good proxy server, which is what I'm going to show you today. And then you have to find a platform that's going to allow you to browse safely like GoLogin. So let me show you how to put these two together, the two biggest platforms in the proxy world, proxy for you and go log in. I'm going to show you how to set up residential proxies right now. Let's go. All right, guys, here's proxy for you where you're going to buy your proxy. If you want to get a free trial, you can, but you need to buy some guys so you can connect to go log in like I'm going to show you. Now, go log in is this website here where you can securely browse anything you want to do, manage Google accounts, Amazon accounts, anything like that, social medias, TikToks, Facebooks. Okay, but you can't do it without getting one of these, if you're a residential proxy, data center proxy or mobile proxy from proxy for you So let's go into this. So this is my proxy for you dashboard. And I'm going to show you how to set this up with a residential proxy. And guys, you can see my login here. I am going to refresh this so you cannot get in. Do not worry before this post. Okay. And I'm going to input this information into my go login back office. This is what people need to know. So let's begin this. All right. First thing I'm going to do is choose where I actually want the proxy to be. If you want to do that yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna go with, let's go with Egypt for this one, okay? So we're gonna go with Egypt, all right? Now, the next thing you're gonna do is choose whether you want rotating or sticky. As you can see here, guys, all right, the rotation interval for the IP rotation for sticky proxies, it specifies the value in minutes. That means that this is going to change every 40 minutes. Now I can change this to seven if I want. Every seven minutes, my sticky rotation will change. That's something that I recommend everyone to do. Then guys, you have your proxy login. It's very, very simple from here. So let me show you. So in the Go Login browser, you're gonna come over here, okay? And what you're gonna do is start a new profile, okay? Press plus and start a new one. So I'm gonna call this YouTube special, okay? So you can see that this is live, okay? And then I'm gonna go to these dots and I'm gonna go to settings. It's gonna take me to the full settings page. This is where you add your proxy. So let's check it out. So what I'm going to do here, okay, is type, click your proxy. I'm going to start putting in the information that we need. So it's not a safe proxy that I'm using. It's a brand new one, okay? And we're going to make sure that all the details are correct. So we go to proxy for you. The first thing we're going to do, please, please, if you take care and focus on any of this video, this is the bit. You want to copy and paste all the way to the semicolon, which is this. Editor, please highlight that them two dots. Okay, you're going to copy this myself. I'm going to put it straight into here, into the login. So that is your login. Okay, next guys, what you're going to do is you're going to copy after the semicolon all the way to the at sign. Okay, I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to put that into my password. Very important next, after the at sign all the way to the semicolon again. So you can see the pattern, it goes Nothing to semicolon to at. Nothing to semicolon to at. Okay, you're going to copy this, and this is going to go in your IP address. Okay, that is what your IP address is. Now, the port, that is the last number after the colon. And you can change this as well, guys. You can put any of these in, it will work. Okay, and you put this in. Now, most important part check your proxy. Okay, and you can see it says proxy in. Egypt. It's that easy, guys. And then you click save. Now, my profile is saved, guys. You can literally click run and this will begin for you. I do want to recommend that you do turn it off when you finish or it'll eat up all your gigabytes. Okay, once you click run, guys, you can view it. And now we can safely browse the internet. That's incredible, guys. You can do everything you want to do inside of this. So that's how you set it up. I'm not going to go. Make sure you do stop it, guys, so you don't use all of your proxy. I'm not going to go too much detail. I'm going to make more videos on this channel. But all you have to do, the most important part, guys, all right, is go to Proxy View, get yourself a proxy, the cheapest prices on the market. All right, you can see here $2.50, and there is no commitment. You can just have one gig, 100 gig, whatever you want. There is nowhere as cheap as this. Even if you go to go log in, okay, and go to their recommended proxies, you won't find one cheaper than this. So get one with proxy for you and then set it up and browse safely. There you go, guys. Now you can be safe online. Make sure to hit up proxy for you, get that proxy. Make sure to get yourself a go login account with the links down below and let's browse safely. I'll see you next time.